Welcome back queens to go Jess and yes I look crazy <laughs> but I'm kind of vibing this look I did like a little TikTok thing about it so anyways let's get um, to the point because I'm gonna get off topic very soon so today's video is all about Khloe Kardashian I just want to say I am not in any way shape or form trying to bash her down roast her or anything like that this is just I think very important and we need to be speaking about it. So let's get to the video. So basically Khloe Kardashian has Khloe Kardashian. <laughs> basically Khloe Kardashian has glowed up dramatically, right? And we all love a good glow up. In this photo here, you see the before and after. I feel like the before is when she just started her makeup. And let's be real, the after is obviously edited. I don't think that she has done that much to her face I, I don't know it's it's honestly so hard in this next image you see the difference between obviously her body as well a bit and her now again now she has been edited and filtered if you haven't watched my Khloe Kardashian video it's up here I'll link it up for you so go watch it but if you think that TV and reality TV and all that is real. It is so not. And I even have a quote here from Chloe. Let me read it. It's not real. You are representing to the world what you want them to believe you are. It's amazing. I think our society nowadays is so caught up on getting validation from the social world that no one really knows. So they post these things. And I think she was referring to Photoshop. She has also admitted she loves Facetune. I personally don't edit any of my photos or videos just for the purpose of you knowing that skin is skin. No matter how flawless someone is, they are going to have some lines, some textured skin. There's going to be something to the face that isn't completely airbrushed, right? And it's beautiful. I think real skin is so beautiful. Now, to say that she hasn't had any surgery, I can't. But I also can't say that she has because she hasn't admitted anything. So this is all skeptical. We're all we're skept we're being skeptical. I don't know. What, what are we doing? We're doing something. We are not telling the facts because she hasn't said anything yet. Sorry. The only thing I can truly say that I think in her face, 100% other than obviously Botox and stuff, I think she's just done her lips. If you see this photo here with her in a blue dress compared to her with short hair, I just personally think it's her lips that make the biggest difference. I know everyone says that her nose as well. I can't. 100% say yes or no because one she's lost weight and two contouring is life-changing so <laughs> I can't completely say that she's done her nose I feel like obviously her hair's changed people freaking laser their hairline I know Kim Kardashian once said that she did so I was like mm, okay. mm, probably won't do that because it will hurt but anyways I tried it once and it killed so no thank you this other photo of her I think that this was when keeping up with Kardashians just started as opposed to her on the red carpet i truly believe that it's a lot of contouring it's a lot of her losing weight because when you lose weight you have to understand that your face also loses weight so it's not just your body and i can 100 percent vouch for that because when i was a bit skinnier my face was way more slim and people used to think people used to always say to me oh i can tell you you've lost a lot of weight from your face and i'm like thank you i don't know I don't know what's that one. I have to, I have to talk about this because it's, it's a thing. Her bum has drastically changed. I think I wouldn't be surprised if she has some, had something done mainly because of how skinny her legs and thighs are. And I really do believe no matter how hard you work out, it's impossible unless you have that genetically. I don't think she didn't have a bum before. I, I think she always had a little bum, like a nice shapely buttocks. I just think she's maybe enhanced it a little bit because sometimes when I see her photos and I see how skinny her legs are and thighs, I'm like, damn, that's hot in a way. But I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. We are, you know, <laughs> she's got a bubble butt. But anyways, each to their own. I just think it's it's not realistic to think that you're going to have a bum like that just by the gym. Look at Jen Stella. She has been training and her bum is great, but it's not gigantic. It First of all, she knows her angles. And second of all, she's got a great shaped buttocks for her body because she's slim. And 
you know i just i don't know i think that again going back to my other video this whole idea of having like an hourglass shape and a really big bum and you know always looking flawless is so unrealistic like and chloe herself even said that she doesn't even live up to those standards but it's because what society wants to see which is what everyone thinks but i feel like if people started to just be who they are and just be like this is me filter no filter whatever and start to embrace it i feel like the vibe of society will start to shift but it's something that we all have to kind of be active on we can't just expect a little portion or like one percent of people to do it but i believe in change so i know <laughs> Let's talk about her feeling like the ugly duckling. I have a quote here. I've always been compared to my sisters who are beautiful and who have always been. Do you see how she says that? She literally said that her sisters are beautiful and they have always been, but she doesn't talk about herself and how beautiful she was as well. I think she was so beautiful. She's always been beautiful, right? She goes on to say, I feel like I was so attacked. I was picked on because I had to wear blazers. I was overweight as a kid just for no reason. I'm called the fat sister. I'm called the ugliest Kardashian. But the haters don't hurt her the way they used to. Oh, <laughs> that is actually so sad. Honestly, I was about to get teary. I think that's so sad only because I completely understand where she's coming from. Feeling very, like, ugly or you don't fit in or whatever. I think that's really sad. And especially when you're in the public eye, I can only imagine what she's gone through. I just want to say that I think she's beautiful with or without surgery when she was younger, now, whatever. I think you're beautiful how you are. I just want you to know that we don't know exactly what surgeries they have. We don't know the extent of surgeries there are now. I know I don't. I know there are things that sometimes I'm like, what? Like only the other day I found out you can actually get a, oh my God. The other day I literally found out that you can make your D bigger. <laughs> what the hell like i thought that was a fake thing no it's real honey it's real <laughs> and i'm like okay surgery has gone to a new level of extremes so if you can make your d bigger you can do anything you want to yourself literally and i feel like it's just so funny to me i actually thought it was a fake thing but it's full real i, I looked it up i looked it up moving past the point though i think that chloe is so beautiful the way she is but i also think that these like with the whole photo image thing the reason why i think she freaked out was because that probably brought back a trigger for her feeling so insecure feeling not loved or not beautiful or like the ugly sister as she says it i'm not saying that i'm just saying quoting what she said i think that as well plays a big role in it and i don't think like us as normal people we're like okay she is fine whatever i don't understand why she's freaking out we don't understand because we haven't been placed in her shoes. And I think we have to remember that celebrities portray that perfect image because that's they, one, they're always in the spotlight. So they always see themselves. And two, because they want regular people to be like, oh my God, they're perfect. So they can follow me because everyone wants to be perfect, right? Even though there's no real standard of perfect because perfect is whatever you want it to be. There's no perfect is imperfect. Perfect is imperfection. I hope that made any sense. Made, made any, blah, blah. You get what I mean? Even on the Kardashians, you would see Kim always speaking to Chloe and saying, oh, you need to throw out this, or you need a new wardrobe, or you need this, or you need that. Have you ever watched the Kardashians? Leave me a comment down below if you have. I haven't watched it in years, but when I used to watch it, it was quite addictive because we always want that lifestyle. But that's, again, only a little part that they show us. Even if it is drama, you do you know that they actually edit their own content so they re-watch it and they pick parts that they want and not want in it which i thought was crazy because there was some stuff in there that i was like jesus like i wouldn't want that stuff out but i guess for ratings and they have done really well in life so <laughs> fair enough i just think that there has been a lot of pressure on her to look a certain way even with this whole you know her rob isn't her dad i feel like that also would have made her feel very insecure and hence her doing little things to kind of look like them if that makes sense but that's just my little again skepticalation i don't know what the word is but i hope you understand my drift with this let me know down below if you understand the word and if you get the word because i'm forgetting the word and i'm gonna have to google it oh you know that you're beautiful you're a gorgeous queen and i want you to know that what you see on tv even instagram freaking youtube whatever there's thousands of lights everywhere lighting makes the biggest difference face tune, Photoshop, all that great, great grads, jazz stuff. I don't know what's wrong with my English today, but we have to go about it. So I'm going to let you go. 
Make sure to hit that like button if you found this video useful. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, my queens. And I will see you in the next video. Have a lovely rest of your day, night, wherever you are. And I will see you again soon. Mwah. Bye. P.S. I hope you liked my makeup. It's kind of like a Medusa crazy vibe. I don't know. Anyways, bye. <laughs>